Hi Scorpio, welcome to your April 2020 general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Scorpio, have you noticed the brand new setup? I'm finally moved into my home. I am so thankful, so blessed. This really is, this new home purchase has been a dream come true. I'm hoping and wishing that all of you are experiencing some sort of blessings around you. I know we're at a time right now where everything is very people are very scared, very fearful, and are thinking in a scarcity mindset. And I'm hoping that with you guys, we can start to help raise the vibration, each and every one of us, during this time. So I invite you, Scorpio, to take a moment, or anyone watching this video, to recognize what you're grateful for. The food on your plate, the home above your head, the friends and loved ones, your spiritual guide team are all around you. Um, I really hope all of you are safe happy and healthy at this time, and I'm wishing you all the best. Also, Scorpio, I am still selling my hand-picked crystal sets and my handmade zodiac candles on my online shop. I know my crystal sets were sold out for a while, but they're all restocked. If you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or someone that you love, go ahead and check out the description box where you'll find the link to my online shop there. All right, Scorpio, let's get this started. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Stellium, and or any other sign you see fit for the sign of Scorpio. This is not going to resonate with every Scorpio that listens to this message. Messages are said for those who need to hear them the most, and that's how my guides and my intuition prioritizes the messages I provide during these readings. It is very normal for not for every single message to not resonate with you in a general reading, and that's completely fine. Please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't to someone who needs to hear that message. If this reading doesn't resonate with you, Scorpio, I suggest checking your other signs in different placements because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Scorpio. Who wouldn't be? I do have to say, as Scorpio and cross watchers, I am picking up on both energies and energies that I'm describing. The scenarios and the roles could be absolutely flipped or reversed. So, if at all you feel like I'm describing a situation where the roles are flipped or reversed, please feel free to go ahead and use your own discretion to flip the roles if that resonates with your situation the most. But because this is a Scorpio reading, I will make Scorpio the main subject of the reading. Finally, we all have divine masculine and feminine energies within each and every one of us. So if at all during this reading I say the word masculine or feminine, please know I'm referring to the energies, not the gender or the sex. If anything is sex or gender specific, I will let you know. All right, Scorpio, let's get started. All right, you guys may notice um, my nails are not as popping this week. <laughs> I am in quarantine shutdown as a lot of other people are. Um, you know, I can't do my own nails very well. I do apologize if they look a little naked, but I'm sure you guys will understand. Ooh, Scorpio. Okay, let's see what that was. Oops, sorry guys. Release your ex. Okay, so some of you during this time are definitely have maybe recently gone through a breakup. Um, and if it's not recently, I think you guys are still struggling with letting someone completely go at this time. And what that's just doing is holding space for an energy and an energy of a person that doesn't serve you. Others of you, I feel as if Scorpio, I feel as if someone's having a hard time letting you go. Again, whatever role or situation you resonate with, I hate to bring this up, guys. I know a lot of people don't like seeing cases of the ex, but Spirit's making this known for someone that needs to hear this, that it is something, I don't know if some of you are guessing if you should go back with this person, maybe they're going to make a reappearance in your life. I, I think, to be honest, Spirit is encouraging you guys to let this person go. You guys have learned the lessons that you needed to learn from this person. 
you've dealt with the karmic situation that was between the two of you because for me this is a very strong karmic connection card and I almost feel like Scorpio if you release someone I feel like some of you release someone during the Mercury retrograde or we're in the process of doing so and I feel as if someone is going to come back one more time for you and I think that's the final test are you really ready to let this person go so something new can come into your life? I do feel like you're going to get a message from this person, a text message specifically. Could be a DM. I don't feel like it will be a phone call. If it is, great. But I do feel like this person, I don't know, I'm getting this energy that just doesn't have... They know they shouldn't call you. They know they shouldn't come to your door or see you because things didn't end very well is kind of what I'm picking up on. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have let go of control issues. So I feel as if you guys are getting a bit impatient with divine timing. Um, maybe some of you guys, I mean, I could already feel a sense of frustration with this so far because I feel as so many of you guys felt like you worked on so hard on letting this person go. And if that's the case, Scorpio, and you feel like you're so done, you're so ready to move on, then this person then, this is just confirmation for me that they're still having a hard time letting you go. And there's a lot of amazing cord cutting meditation sessions on YouTube. I generally don't like to recommend specific ones because I do feel like each of us are energetically different. So I do encourage you guys to choose meditations where you feel most guided to. Um, but... I'm also hearing from spirit that you guys need to be patient with yourselves. Almost as if you guys, some of this, this leaving this person, whoever left who in the case, it was really painful. It was a really, really hard breakup. And it was something that has been taking such a long time to finally release and let go of. And for some of you that needs to hear this, this is the extra push to keep going, keep doing it and be patient. I feel as if someone's out there, you know, randomly thinking about their day and all of a sudden this person comes to your thoughts um, or maybe you're, I know, I feel as if there's a specific song that you two had and when the song comes up, it's just like you turn the song off and it just ruins your day. I don't know, that's for someone out there. Um, and you almost are getting frustrated, but be patient, you know. Things, things like this sometimes are like a good wine. I don't know if you guys like wine. Um, I'm seeing Cabernet Sauvignon. But um, you have to give yourself patience, Scorpio. Because if you try to force a round piece in a square hole, it's just not going to fit. And it's not the right... I'm just hearing it's not the right time yet. So I know some people don't like hearing this, but i got to be honest with you guys. It is time to fully let go. Your energy is clearing and until then something new can come in. But I do do have a strong feeling, Scorpio, that someone is just having trouble letting you go. And I don't think that's the first time I've caught up on that energy with you guys. So let's go ahead and get into their details. Oh, there's one. Yep, exactly. So some of you guys could have been dealing with another water sign, a Pisces I'm getting specifically, but could also be Cancer or Scorpio. If you were dealing with a water energy, someone's coming back, Scorpio. With the Knight of Cups, someone is definitely trying to follow their heart. But they know you're guarded. They know you are not welcoming that back in. They know you're closing it out. But again, for those of you that need to hear this, I do feel that this is a test from the universe. Are you really ready to let go? Are you really ready to see that you deserve so much more, that you're ready for so much more than this. Because in the root of everything, something new is coming, Scorpio. You guys may have Earth somewhere in your chart. I'm hearing Taurus, but I'm also, it could also be Capricorn or Virgo in your chart somewhere. Yeah, more Earth energy, Queen of Pentacles, specifically Capricorn. I think you gave a lot to this, Scorpio, and you're realizing you gave a lot more than you should to this person. And that's kind of the thing that's been troubling you the most about it, is that you just had high hopes for this, and they let you down. 
And that was the last time they were going to let you down, right, Scorpio? It's over now. And I just feel as if you guys are doing a great job at releasing. So don't feel like just because it's taking a certain amount of time, you're not doing a good job. You absolutely are. And you're looking for someone who is going to be that equal counterpart for you. You're not selling for anything less. You guys aren't looking for casual hookups. You're not looking for duds. You're done with the duds. <laughs> you're absolutely done with the duds. And I think this experience with this person, Scorpio, whoever this person was, that either it's hard for you to let go of or they're not letting you go completely, um, your lesson has been learned. You see now clearly the traits that that person exuded. You kind of catch on from that with other people. You're not going to be fooled again. You know what you want. You're not going to be disappointed again, Scorpio. Yeah. I mean, I gotta say, ooh. yep. Mm hmm. Wow. Okay. King of Swords energy at the bottom of the deck. The energy of Aquarius. You can have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. You could be involved with Aquarius or connected to an Aquarius. You guys see things very, very clearly now. You see your romantic situation very clearly now. I don't know if you guys for a while were confused about what this person meant for you, what this person was supposed to be in your life. And now you see very, very clearly who this person is, what the purpose they were serving in your life is, and what you want now. You're completely ready to cut out anything and anyone that is not gonna serve your new goals for yourself and for what you deserve in love and romance. You could also be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra. But I do feel the spirit is guiding me to say, prepare yourself, Scorpio. Prepare yourselves for this person's return. Prepare yourself for this person to try to test you again to see if you're ready to go in that same karmic loop. You're done. You're done should you stick to your ground, should you set your boundaries, and should you communicate very clearly what you want from this. You're very clear, Scorpio. What's crossing this is the Knight of Cups. So if they haven't come recently, if they haven't, you know, shot you a message or tried to communicate with you, um, I've, a lot of you, they've already have, I'm feeling. They already have, and that's why it's kind of re-triggering you or <sighs> almost as if this person reaching out to you or if they will reach out to you very soon, it's going to re-spark all these emotions that you thought it was cleared away. I'm seeing like a smoky <sighs> atmosphere that something is trying to get you confused again, Scorpio, or get you to think that this is something that you should give another shot or a chance at. I'm seeing a carnation in my third eye. I don't know if carnations mean anything to you guys. Um, but I, this is like a peace offering is what I'm kind of getting from someone that's going to try to make their way back in your life, Scorpio. I feel like a lot of you are over it and a lot of you are very clear that this person does not serve you in your best good. But I think that some of you it is going to really, really mess with your feelings again. And if you guys are wondering why, you know, the universe is sending this person back into your life, again, I want to confirm it is a test. It is a test. It's a hard test. It's a test no one wants to take. <laughs> it's like the test where you studied hours and hours and hours for, and then you see that there's a whole extra essay at the end that the professor just surprised you with. I don't know if you guys are in school or if you're teachers specifically, um, but that's kind of the energy I'm getting from this, and you guys are like, why won't they leave? And I feel like, Scorpio, for some of you, they won't leave because they felt 
guilty about something or it's like something that's still unsettled or unresolved within themselves but that doesn't need to project onto you Scorpio if you've solved you know your if you had closure with this person and if they didn't give you closure you gave closure yourself then there's no need for you to feel deceived or fooled by someone who's trying to re-spark this thing that has already been sealed shut and again, if the roles are reversed, the roles are reversed. If Scorpio did this to you, then by all means, take it that way, right? What's crowning the reading? What is being seen? Uh, Seven of Wands, I'm not surprised. Fire energy. Some of you could have Leo somewhere in your chart. You could be involved with a Leo or connected energetically or romantically to a Leo. Um, but could also be fire energy, Sagittarius and... Um, Aries energy. I mean, Scorpio, you guys have fire in you naturally. You're a water sign. Yes, that's true. But the co-ruler of Scorpio along with Pluto is Mars. <laughs> do I, what do I say with this? Um, once you piss a Scorpio off to a means where there is no return, it is a very long ladder to climb to even get to reconciliation with Scorpio um you know not every single Scorpio obviously but the Scorpios I've known and um I have a strong Scorpio placement myself my Pluto's in Scorpio in the eighth house so I understand Scorpio energy very very well don't play with fire if you don't want to get burned so it's like I feel this is your guys's energy um regardless if you have fire in your chart or not this person knows that if they do approach you, there's like a 75% chance that you are not having it. You, they, you may even been waiting to give them all... I don't know why I feel like for some of you, it just kind of ended where there was no closure. And if this person does return, you've been waiting to tell this person every single thing that they've done to you, how you have no desire in starting anything again and completely, it's going to be feisty. I'm hearing feisty. I don't know if people have described you as feisty before. Um, but I also get this feeling, Scorpio, I don't know, for a very small amount of you, I almost feel like someone is going to try to use your friends or family to get back to you. And that's some shady, messy shit. Be careful of that, okay? Like, I almost feel like as if someone's going to ask your friend or your family member to, like, be like, oh, you know, so-and-so hit me up. They just want to know how you've been doing or if you'll... It's like, oh, hell no. You know you couldn't get to me, so you had to go through my friends and my family members or, like, even coworkers or something. Like, that's, that's completely messy. And it's almost as if they want to use them as a shield against you so, like, it, the blow doesn't hit so hard. You know? Yeah, they know they pissed you off. But Scorpio, as soon as this test is passed, as soon as you have finally shown the universe you are ready to hold new energy for more, I promise there's a new beginning that's going to be tangible, secure, long-term for you that you are going to see is extremely valuable here. I'm picking up on another energy around you, Scorpio, who does have a lot of interest in you. Um, I feel almost as if this person, I don't know, I'm hearing like a great laugh. This person may have a great laugh or they think you have a good laugh. This is, a, a, I want to clarify, I feel like as if this is an outside energy around from whoever this ex is. And they've been waiting to have this new beginning with you, Scorpio. And if that's not the case, others of you, I feel as if spirit and the universe is ready to give you the soulmate you've been waiting for. Once this energy has been cleared, once this block has been lifted off the, um, your own path to your soulmate. I almost feel like some of you 
this person who wants to come in for maybe like work at a bank or maybe be like a financial analyst or maybe their own entrepreneurs, they have their own business. Maybe you work with them as well. Spirit's trying to come in and confirm for me, for you guys. But this is in the background. This is not what you see, Scorpio. And I feel it's a spirit is just waiting to give this to you. And once you pass that test, you're good. You're done. This will come in for you. A lot of earth energy. Whether you have an earth in your chart or there's an earth sign around you who wants a lot or is expressing a lot of interest and it could be that X energy too. But this is something I feel completely different. In the recent past, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy specifically, but could also be Taurus or Virgo energy. And again, I feel like this was you, Scorpio, that was giving a lot into this previous relationship or previous connection you've had with someone. And where this queen is holding a coin, again, regardless of gender or sex, I feel as if this is your energy. Um, if you see where this queen is holding a coin, a lot of you guys, I felt as if you thought there was so much passion or felt so much passion between the two of you because the sexual chemistry or the sex was just bomb. This person may have had the best Um, private parts you've ever like been with or seen or felt or like an amazing body maybe for some of you or even if you guys aren't in like tip top shape or whatever it's something about your body that they loved but I'm also getting for someone out there you guys kind of recognize the only thing they liked about you was the sex you guys had or the passion that was there you wanted something so much more than that. You recognize that you were not investing your time and energy into something that proved valuable to you. I'm feeling a very strong solar plexus energy going on here and I think a lot of you guys recognized your worth and what how much you are really worth and that this person wasn't making you feel that way, wasn't making you feel valued, wasn't making you feel, I don't know, I almost feel like this person, I don't know, for someone out there almost made you feel insecure about yourself or tried to make you feel insecure. And if that was the case, Scorpio, they did that only to make themselves feel better. I know that sounds corny, but someone needs to hear that. It's absolutely true. Also, I guess I have to say someone misses the way you went down on them. Don't know who that's for. It's for someone out there. I'm feeling that energy very strongly. Yeah, I'm not surprised by this in the near future of this connection. Very near future. Five of Pentacles. More Earth energy, specifically Taurus. Um, yeah. I don't know, Scorpio, if you're straight up going to go someone. And I do feel for some of my Scorpios, you guys may be contemplating of reaching out back to this person. If you do, I honestly do not feel like it's going to be successful. And that's going to be a double confirmation for you that spirit when the universe wants you to let this person go because they are not giving you what you need, what you want. No one should ever, ever make you feel in the Five of Pentacles energy in love and romance. I'm also feeling that some of my Scorpio business older owners may be struggling a bit financially um, due to this outbreak. Um, and you guys may feel a very strong lack of, if this isn't regards to love, I'm picking up on something with business slightly off topic. Um, and someone may be trying to catch you when you're vulnerable during this time, okay? They know and they've been watching, I feel, almost as if for the perfect time to come back in your life. And they're trying to purposely catch you off guard and where you're at your most vulnerable. I don't know who that's for. Almost as if Scorpio, for some of you, I, again, we all have our free will and we can all do what we want. 
But for some of you who is still having this person follow you or are in some sort of contact with you, whether you have social media, if you don't, great, perfect, stay on that track, whatever. Um, but for some of you that um, does have social media and this person's following you, I have a strong feeling to say just block them because that's part of why this energy cord is so strong or just unfriend them even because you're giving them that access to look into your life in that way. Whether you're talking to this person or not, they are still accessing what's going on in your life. And I feel like they're doing that for a purpose and they're watching for a purpose, Scorpio. I do have to say, from a lot of my Scorpios, I do feel like some of you are really having trouble letting this person go. I kind of want to clarify this Five of Pentacles energy just a little bit for you. Five of Pentacles. Ooh. The Fool. Yeah, not surprised. And the Ten of Pentacles. <sighs> yeah, okay. So, with the Fool energy, some of you guys could be, again, dealing with another Aquarius. Aquarius is strong here. Aries, as well, with this card, doesn't have to be. So for those of you who someone's coming back, yeah, they want a brand new start because they've seen the longevity with you. They've seen how loyal you were, how much you were giving, and now that you're gone, there's a lack of. They want to come back just for that. I'm getting a codependency too. Like this connection, I'm sorry, I have to say this, guys, is kind of just extremely toxic. And that's why spirit is really encouraging you guys to let this go. And if you have, if you've been working on it, great. This person's still not over it yet. So you have to make yourself very, very clear with this King of Swords energy. I'm done. D-O-N-E. Do I need to spell it out for you? Completely done. I'm also seeing a chalkboard. I don't know who that's for. Um, but others of you, you guys may even think that this person's going to give you the Ten of Pentacles. And you're holding on to that hope that this is a... You know, a new beginning will happen for you guys that will have this happily ever after. But honestly, it's just going to end you with, with the five of pentacles. Lack of, lack of everything you wanted from this. Don't go in that same cycle, Scorpio. Your energy, two of cups. Cancer energy could also be you know, Scorpio energy or Pisces energy. You could have those signs in your chart. A couple things I'm feeling from this. Scorpio, you're ready for your soulmate. You're ready for your true counterpart to come in. And I don't know why I'm feeling the need to say this, but Scorpio, I feel like you're going to meet someone very close to you, like in your hometown, in your home state or your home country. I don't know why I need to say that. Maybe you guys live somewhere outside of where you grew up. Um, you may be like coming back home to visit some family during this time or want to and you may meet them when you visit that others of you that's not for all of you others of you yeah you're looking for your soulmate you're looking for your you guys are just really done with dating around or looking for um, people who aren't going to provide that longevity, aren't going to provide that stability and that emotional reciprocation. Others of you, i got to be honest, some of you really do feel like this X energy is your twin flame or is your soulmate. And it's, I, I'm sorry, it's not. With release your X being the center of it all, it's, it's not, guys. Someone needs to hear that. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear. Maybe that's the whole thing is that you really thought this person was going to be the one for you. But Scorpio, again, I'm just like looking at these two together. Once that block is gone, once that energy has truly been cleared, when you finally put the sword in and all and cut things off, your soulmate will come in. Out with the old and with the new. Is really what you guys should be following during this time and keep on working at it keep your eyes on the prize the energy around you Scorpio four of wands 
Okay, so I gotta say something. Um, I don't know if some of you were involved with a married person or you're married and someone's tried to interfere with, I don't know, I I'm getting something of a marriage here for some of you. Um, others of you, if that's not the case, again, Scorpio, there's someone, well, there's two, <laughs> X energy, but someone else around you who sees you for all that you are in your complete worth and what you can give long-term passionate ending here this is fire energy aries specifically also leo or sagittarius a fire sign could have their eyes on you scorpio if that helps with anything um or someone with fire in their chart that's not for everyone. This person wants to see you naked, Scorpio. And, and this is a newer energy. They, they definitely think you look bomb naked. Um, but yeah, I mean, even the ex does, again, still want this with you, Scorpio, but you're better off alone than with that ex. I'm sorry to say it. Scorpio, I gotta be honest too. Um, if you live somewhere in an apartment or anywhere with a big window near your bedroom or your bathroom, please make sure the windows are closed. I almost get a sense that someone, a Scorpio, may not realize someone's watching you change. I, I don't, I'm just picking up on that very strongly. Obviously, that's only gonna be for a very small amount of you, but be careful of that, okay? But someone knows and sees you, Scorpio, for everything that you are. You're there, you know, they, in your best of times, they see you as this very happy, passionate, adventurous, sexy individual. And they see how far that can go with you should they stay persistent. But again, if that's that X energy coming in, Cut him, cut him, cut him, cut him. I'm hearing like chop suey, you know? <laughs> chop it out. But others of you, there is another person that definitely wants to make their way towards you, but this is the final test, Scorpio. Are you ready for the new or do you want to stick with the old? I'm also seeing checker print. I don't know if someone has checker print furniture or checker print pants or shoes. I don't know. Or this person, this energy, this X energy is trying to play this like a game of checkers. Mm -mm. Highest hope, Scorpio, and I do feel like this is the X energy. Um, and again, if the roles are reversed, then we're reversed, but keeping this fantasy alive that you guys are meant to be together, that you guys can't let this go, that this was you know, something that is meant to be for a reason continuing to be. This is Scorpio energy. Some of you could be involved with another Scorpio or someone with Scorpio on their chart. Um, but also I gotta say, this is for some of you guys who are still thinking that maybe this ex person, the person you were wanting so back, bad back in your life is the one that is for you. I wanna go ahead and clarify this a bit. Why is the Six of Cups energy? Ooh, that's way too many. I'll take these two. Death. Three of Cups. Wow, yeah, some of you guys just don't want this to end or they don't want this to end with you. But it is time with the Death card. This has been held on for way too long. And with the Three of Cups, for me as a reader, that could sometimes be reconciliation that someone really, really, really wants with this, but it's done. It's done. And you need to see that clearly, Scorpio, or someone needs to see that clearly. That's the truth. It's meant to be cut. It was meant to be stopped. It's like, yeah, and when I said dealing with another Scorpio, strong, the death card, the card of Scorpio. 
this is something that needs to be released. Others of you, I'm seeing this now as I put these all together, um, someone is really, really hoping to get over this wanting or this thinking about them or this daydreaming about them to finally, finally end. So then they can pursue their own happiness. Some of you, this may have ended because of a third party situation. I was picking up on that married type of thing. Um, and someone may have felt like they made the wrong choice by not going with you, Scorpio, or ending things with you. And so that's why some of them are still holding that cord so strongly or wanting to have that cord still so strong. Deepest fear is the magician. I feel as if, Scorpio, this is just you being tricked again or manipulated again or that your manifestation isn't working for the new or when you've finally done your manifestation and then this person comes back, you're like, this isn't what I manifested, the hell? Send this back to the kitchen. <laughs> um, I do feel like this person may ask you out to dinner too if they haven't already this ex energy and it may be a place that they know you really like, this restaurant that you really enjoy. Or since some of you guys are in quarantine maybe during this time, they may add, like offer to pick it up or do like DoorDash or Grubhub. I don't know what you guys have in other countries, but something similar to that. Um, or to just like take it to you at your house. Not for all of you, obviously. Um, that's just for some of you. But most of you, it's just this person still trying to manifest this or even you finding yourself frustrated because you're still trying to manifest this person and that that urge to want them back in your life will never leave. That's what I'm really feeling with this deepest fear. For the likely outcome of this situation, Scorpio, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo. So if you're interested in joining me for the likely outcome and any advice for you guys in regards to love and romance during this time as we head into Aries season, as we're in Aries season, go ahead and check out the description box and you'll find the link to the extended reading there. If this is where we depart, Scorpio, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you enjoyed that you gained some insight and some clarity into the situation. If you did, please let me know. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. I'm sending you guys my love and light. I hope you all are healthy and safe, and I wish you all the best. I'll see you next time. Take care, Scorpio.